Assalamualaikum. Uh, so today's lecture is about reasoning and inferencing. Uh, this is more on how we want to implement the information that we have represented. Right? Okay. So there are three modules here. There is reasoning and then inferencing. And then I'm going to touch a bit about the conflict re resolution uh, that we have covered actually before in the uncertainty. Okay. So what is reasoning? Okay, we have five methods of reasoning, uh, which is deductive, inductive, abductive, analogy, logic, and statistical. This is actually how we reason to get a conclusion. We did this every day in almost everything that we do. And usually, because we keep doing this in nanoseconds, uh, we tend to forget that actually our mind is uh, doing these processes. All right. This is one of example how we find a reason of our conclusion. Okay, deductive, it starts with a general idea or statement. And then from that general statement, uh, we make a specific conclusion. Alright? Okay. Uh, for example, okay, uh, we've been told by our parents when we were still very young or toddlers that warps has sting. Alright? So... Every, uh, every time there's a warp, they say, okay, careful, careful, there's a sting. Right? Don't touch the warp, there's a sting. So, until now, okay, when we are adults, okay, even if you don't know how warps look like, okay, even fly, sometimes if, if you don't know that it's a fly, you thought that's a warp, and we avoid it because we thought it's a sting. So, if alpha is a warp, then alpha has a sting. Alright, similarly, if we use to the idea of snake have a poisonous, okay, snake has a poison, so every snake, we will classify that as a poison, okay, even though uh, that's a python, but we're so used to the idea of um, snake having a poison, so we make that conclusion first, okay, so we use this subconsciously, the idea uh, that we have, uh, at the back of our mind, derive a conclusion, okay, before we make an action. So, that is deductive. From a general statement, we make a specific conclusion. Alright, so another example here is all insect has six legs and three body segments. So, make a specific conclusion, ants are insect. Okay, all Manchester United supporter wears red shirt. So, we can see that our friend is wearing a, a red shirt. So, we say that, oh, he is a Manchester United supporters. Okay. And the example, even numbers are number that can be divided into two. So, specific conclusion, 28 is even number. So, if square has four equal sides, so this shape is a square. Okay, even though we know that in... In nursery, okay, uh, our children will be told that this is a diamond shape, okay, or rhombus, okay, but we can classify this as a square, right, just a rotated square, right. So, another way of thinking, okay, apart from inductive, the other way around, okay, from a specific statement, we make a general, from a specific um, event, we make a general statement, okay, that is inductive. Okay, we start with a specific statement or hypothesis, and then we make a general conclusion about the class, about about the, about that set of events. Okay, for example, we went to a zoo in Melaka and we saw monkeys there, tear flower to bits, and then two or three months later, we go to zoo, Neraka, zoo Negara in Kuala Lumpur, and then we see a similar scenery there where monkeys like to tear flowers to bits. So, we make a conclusion there. All monkey likes to tear flower to bits. Okay, so we use this subconsciously as well. Okay. Uh, ironically, okay, I can say that uh, we can actually know, okay, which classes we can, skip, uh, we can skip. We know which lecturer who take attendance or who really uh, know or, or take notes if we do the exercises or not. Okay, right. Another example, this is from specific numbers. We have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So, we know the pattern is add 3 or it's a table 3. 
So, we can make next number is 18. Okay. So, once bitten by dog, now Jimmy is afraid of dog. Okay. That is also an inductive. So, another one is Siti. First son named Haras. The second son named Haris. So, the third will be? So far, everybody in my class say Harus. Okay. So, I don't know what's your answer. So, if it's not Harus, your first idea is Harus, please let me know. Alright. So, can you think of any example of inductive? Right. Mm. Now, next uh, reasoning, okay, uh, method of reasoning is adaptive. This is more like a guessing game. Okay, we guess what will be the reason of a, of a specific event. Okay, but it might not necessarily correct. Okay, it doesn't promise a correct conclusion. Okay. Let's look at the example here. So, we know that grasses will be wet when it rains. Okay, so when you wake up in the morning, okay, uh, you step out of your house and you see that grasses are wet. So, the conclusion, you will come, uh, appears to your mind, was it rain last night? Okay, so you conclude that there's a rain but it's just a guessing, so probably it's raining. It can be many other reasons, maybe it's just a mist, alright? Uh, or maybe your... Uh, uh, neighbor actually uh, water their plants okay and their water spread up to uh, into your lawn as well right okay next example every nation has a BCG scar okay because every kids uh, every baby was given this injection immunization now police found a corpse with a BCG scar so one of a few uh probabilities that the police can make is the corpse is simulation. Okay, so that is adaptive. Okay. Uh, you can try to think of what uh, other adaptive that you do every day actually. Alright. Okay, the fourth one is analogy. Okay, this is to find a similarities or difference between two or more events. Okay, so for example, to classify a tiger, okay, we know the certain facts, okay, the group animals, number of legs is four, the diet is meat, the habitat at Southeast Asia and India, color is orange and black stripes. So, because humans are very intelligent, right, very smart, I'm sure you know what tiger is, okay, but if you give this information to a computer, okay, and then you give this to images into the computer what do you think will be the output okay because these two images okay look like an animal they have four legs especially this okay we can consider that as a four legs this we could be con we could consider that as, as an animal standing on two legs but actually they have four legs okay and these two also it meets habitat okay south asia india can be anywhere uh, the face doesn't important. Okay, color orange and black stripes. So the computer can just simply say that this is a tiger. Right. Then we have logic. Okay, logic basically is a common sense. Uh, an example here: a loose fan blade is dangerous if it still operates. Why? Because the blades can fly off. Okay, so it's it is uh dangerous. Okay, so please think of you example of a logic. What are uh, your actions? Okay, from you wake up early in the morning until you listen to this uh, lecture videos. What are actions that you took uh, based on your logic reasoning? Okay, maybe you buy foods. Okay, based on how, how much money you still have in your wallet. Right, the last reasoning. Uh, is statistical. This is based on frequency of event. Okay, frequency of stati statistical ways. Okay. So, example here is a price for essentials such as oil and electricity can be increased as the usage trend shows that it was never decreasing because everybody needs it. This is essential. It's a need. Okay. So, if uh, the provider, 
Okay, it's taking advantage to make more profits. They can make any other reason. Uh, they can give so many reasons. Uh, to uh, to hike up the price. Okay, but they know people will will continue using it. They will they, they will not reduce using it. Right? Okay, so that's about uh reasoning. Okay. So we'll do some exercise before we go to the next lecture about inference. Thank you.